I especially love of, of this piece is first of all, the mood. It's like a minimalism, but there's so much detail and beauty. There's layers of color, layer of green, layer of pink, layer of mist. It just has so much impact and so much mood that I just kept coming back to this photo. And then you've just got those horses that just draw your eye right to it. So while it's simple and easy to read, it's also got a lot of detail and beauty to it. Of course, there's also lovely light, a sense of place, but more than that is just the mood. It's a, it's a photograph that I would like to just walk into and spend time. And this was a very fascinating photograph to me, technically well done. Um, if you stand way back, it has a beautiful shape to it, but when you look close, there's an arrow that points you to the middle, horns. It keeps your eye moving and moving. Technically, it's just got so much movement to it and it's excellently done. The details in the middle are just fascinating where your eye just gets pulled to that sharp focus of all those details. And this is a little bit softer, so it just acts as a support. The bright white in the middle also just draws your eye so that this photograph takes your eye places through it, which is very important. You don't want people to get bored. You could look at this for a long time, both close and far. And this was a photo that just attracted me right away with some mystery of what leads through the door. So there's a little bit of story there. And you've got lines and shapes and lines and lines and it's perfectly cropped and it's got great texture it's beautifully processed not overly done but you still get the rough paint uh, it just draws you in even the floor lines of the floor bring you to this door and what a very fascinating subject it was <music> This is just a beautiful capture of a gesture that that bird is making with its mouth open, perfect focus. You can see the feathers, you can see the tongue, the eye is perfect. And I really love the fact that it's such a high key image and that the only thing you focus on is the bird and just that branch that it's on. Everything in the photo supports the main subject. Just a beautifully done image. And this photo grabbed me from across the room with the strong graphic line and then beautiful detail on this spider. It's a wonderful composition of the placement of the spider, the use of this curved line, the, uh, the low key with the dark, and beautiful presentation of even the white line around it and the black frame and mat. It just makes a wonderful, completely a piece that works together beautifully. I was so attracted to this photo because this woman's face just comes out of the darkness. She's even wearing a dark coat with a hood, which makes real nice low-key lighting, and yet she is very well illuminated, and just her expression draws you right in. I was attracted to this image because there's a very strong focus right here on a very graphic uh, element, the cup and the paintbrush and all these paint um, old tubes. Wonderful. This is out of focus and the background out of focus. So your eye knows just what this uh, image is about. It's beautifully um, rendered here. And that's how I thought it would be a, a word of merit. And I wanted to recognize a body of work by Barry Copland. They're all of a wonderful subject of men working, not something you typically see portraits of, but it does show their personality, uh, 
the cropping that he uses includes just what supports the photo. This one over here called Larry, I love because everything in here, the, the man is um, got the square of whatever this is right behind him. It's almost like a um, what they use in professional models, except it's obviously a construction site. And the shadows, what perfect, beautiful lighting with these shadows behind him that echo his gesture of getting ready to paint. Even the paint roller points nice in, pulls your eye into the image. Everything works together for something that's someone working to be able to capture um, an image that isn't cluttered is, is just wonderful to me. Tiles one, two, and three. What a wonderful creative um, subject matter. And to find these interesting graphic elements, the curves and line, repeated lines and angles out of such an unusual subject matter. Just a wonderful study of tiles that was very fascinating to me. And these are just a beautiful series of portraits. Wonderful poses, beautiful ladies, just a beautiful eye that can see how these women are gorgeous in their own way. It's such a great study. All of them are different, and yet there is still a cohesive body of work in that they're all just headshots with a little bit of shoulder. A wonderful job. <music>